Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and create a class slash edit your loadout inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer. I am very, very excited. I currently have an early copy of the game and I'm grinding out a ton of videos. So make sure if you do enjoy this video by the end of it, that you drop a like on it and make sure you are subscribed. You've been absolutely smashing subscriptions lately. Thank you so much. Let's jump right into the video. So basically, what are the loadouts inside of, uh, of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, like I said, they are essentially the class system. Now, the class system inside of Modern Warfare has been overhauled pretty decently. Not like completely, 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 but it has quite a few changes and additions to it, really, that really make it a much better system than anything we've ever seen in the past, in my opinion. So, how do you do this first off? Make your way to a multiplayer lo uh, yeah, multiplayer lobby. Don't go into a match. Make your way to a multiplayer lobby and then go to the weapons tab. And then you'll, you'll see you have your loadouts, your kill streak select, your field upgrades, and different stuff like that. I'll have videos on the kill streaks, the field upgrades, and the watch select, all that stuff very, very soon. But what we're focused on is the loadout. So let's go ahead and click on edit loadout. And you're going to see we have our five default preset classes. Now you're going to notice that I do have way more weapons available than you probably do as soon as you're watching this video. And that's just pretty much because. Um, I'm playing offline and I have an early copy of the game and the servers aren't up and that's fine um, But it's a it actually makes this a little bit easier for me to go ahead and show you guys so these are all the weapons in the game I also have a video on all the weapons and stuff like that, but let's go ahead and take a look Let's say I feel like using an SMG next game. I want to I really want to use an SMG. What do I do? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and select the primary weapon category. Let's go to SMG. I feel like using Let's go. The PP-19. That sounds pretty interesting. Let's use the PP-19 next game. That sounds really cool, actually. Okay? So, now that I have the PP-19, what do I do? How do I add attachments to it? Because I only have a secondary here, right? Very, very simple. All you have to do is go to the gunsmith. Again, I'm going to have a full video just on the gunsmith, but I'm going to keep this very basic right here. So, I'm going to keep this very basic right here. So, as you can see, once we go ahead and go into the gunsmith, you're going to have access to adding attachments to pretty much every single part of your weapon that you can possibly imagine, including actually selecting perks. So, let's start all the way over by the muzzle real quick, and let's just pick any random muzzle. We'll take, um, you can actually pick a flash. Like, it doesn't have to be a suppressor or something like that. You, you'll see the pros and cons of each different item slash muzzle that you can pick and that it's the same thing with every single item here um, you'll see pros and cons of it which is really cool I like that they have it laid out the accuracy of the damage on top of that as well that's really awesome but let's go ahead and let's ju let's just pick this right here uh, actually let's pick this compensator compensator recoil control aim down sight speed is reduced and the aiming stability is reduced okay next let's go ahead and let's check out the barrel we can pick an 8.7 inch uh, polygonal polygonal barrel or an 8.7 inch aluminum aluminum aim down sight speed is quicker um if you use polygonal the damage range is increased and the bullet velocity is increased but you aim down sight slower i'm actually going to take that then um and then okay next we have the laser sight okay we can have a five okay hip fire accuracy okay so you see the pros and cons i'll just, I'll just pick tack laser optics okay we have an optic right here and this is awesome man look we have 18 different optics to pick from pick from right on disc i love it and by the way along with that comes a ton of controller settings that you can mess around with which i have a full video on my channel already about that you can go and customize your controller setting exactly to your liking depending on your optic because in this game in that video i referred to the greater than 3.25 x scopes as sniper scopes because that's essentially what they are but in this game that doesn't that's not really true it doesn't really apply because on any gun you can have a really deep scope as you can see right there really cool this is a gen 3 night vision scope which is awesome actually actually that's so cool okay but for the purposes of this video let's pick a mini reflex site i think that's pretty fair a nice mini reflex site and then let's go to the stock okay we can have no stock at all which looks so weird we can have a factory aluminum stock we can have okay let's use that one right there okay ammunition let's see we got the 84 round helical mags that's the only thing i can pick i can either have nothing or i can have these mags and it says okay swap attachment you have five attachments already equipped to equip 84 okay so Obviously, it's the same as usual. Um, you can have a max of five attachments. So if I want to add anything else, I have to take off another one of these attachments. You may be asking, okay, that's fair. How do you take off an attachment? Simply go to the attachment and press your interact button and it will disable it slash remove it. So let's go ahead and actually, I'm not going to put anything on my ammunition tab. Let's go to this and I'm going to add some kind of grip, okay? And then the perk tab. If I wanted to actually add a perk to, um, I'd have to take something off. Because again, the perk actually counts as an attachment on your weapon because it's not a perk for your whole class it's a perk for your weapon so actually let me go ahead 
let me just take let me take the muzzle off i guess and we'll go to perk and as you can see we can add sleight of hand to the weapon which actually increase the reload speed um we have a whole bunch of different stuff right here but let, let's put on sleight of hand okay so now i have my fully customized pp19 bison if i go to my gunsmith again you'll be able to see i have the 8.7 inch polygonal barrel i have a gi mini reflex optic i have this corvus skeleton stock i have this stippled grip tape uh, grip and then i have a perk on my weapon and that counts as all five of my attachment slots same thing actually applies to the pistol. You can add up to five attachments. Same deal with that. You must run a secondary, but obviously you can run a melee weapon or whatever you want as a secondary. You don't have to run a specific pistol, which is always cool. Okay, that's that out of the way. That pretty much works exactly the same as a primary. It's just with secondary weapons. Next, you have your perks, okay? This is actually a very interesting menu because this is where stuff gets even more advanced as well. Obviously, we had the gunsmith with, with attachments and how they worked over there. But now the perks actually work very interestingly as well. At all times, you can have three perks, which is awesome. But if you actually decide to, as you can see, you can press square to activate your specialist. And I believe there's a pop-up on my screen. And it's allowing me to do it now since I'm offline. But when you're online, you must be, I think, either level 28 or 29. And then once you reach that level, you'll be able to actually activate your specialist um, here. But as you can see, once you have your specialist activated, what it does is it gives you an extra three perks. And if you want to just disable your specialist, you simply press square and it will disable or enable your specialist right back there, like I said. Okay, so specialist disabled, you can pick from any of these three perks right here. You press R1. You can, okay, so you have perk one right here. You can pick from any of these perks right here for perk one. If you want to go to perk two, you pick from any of these over here. Perk three, same thing, any of these perks over here, whatever. Now, say I want to actually activate my specialist, which by the way will disable my score streaks. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but once you activate your specialist, yes, you do get three additional perks for a total of six, but your score streaks are also disabled. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and just activate the specialist for the for the purpose of this, and you'll see that after getting a certain amount of kills, you actually have access to different perks. Okay, so okay, perk one, perk two, perk three, and then after getting two kills, you have for example, uh, or sorry, after getting two kills, for example, you have scavenger. After getting four kills, you have it set so that you get tuned up. And then after getting six kills, you can have it set so that you get spotter or something like that. You can customize this to whatever way you want. And again, if you want to just simply turn on specialist, press square, and now you have your score trees back, get back again. It's completely up to you. There's multiple play styles incorporated into multiple classes in any specific given game, which is awesome. And on top of that, you can actually mess around with your class in game as well, which we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll take a look at that. But that is the, the perks menu. It's actually drastically changed from the past and the overall loadout menu changed because again, you can add up to five attachments on both your primary and secondary weapon. You can add up to six perks, which would also disable your score streaks, or you can have three perks with the score streaks that you want. You can have whatever lethal you want, as you can see right here. Obviously, these are bound to be locked by levels and stuff like that, so it's not going to be exactly the same experience that you guys have on disc right off the bat. But since I'm offline, again, I have the um, the privilege of showing you everything that you can possibly select. So let's just select, let's say we want the, the Molotov cocktail. We select that. Now we have three perks selected, which means that we actually do have our um, score streaks. If I want to activate again, the other three perks and disable my score streaks, I just press square. There you go. But I'm going to disable my specialist. I have three perks selected. I have my secondaries, 1911. I have the PP-19 on SMG with five attachments on it. I have my lethal selected. And now we have our tactical grenade, which I'm actually going to set to... Let's do the gas grenade. That's pretty awesome, okay? And there you go. And then if you want to go ahead and play with it in-game, or actually if you want to select your loadout, let's let's get into this real quick. If you want to mess around with your loadout options, you just go ahead and go to the loadout, and you press triangle on it, and you can go ahead and rename it to whatever the hell you want. For some reason in the game, offline, it didn't let me rename some things before because it said profanity. It literally put in the number one, and it wouldn't let me rename things. But that's pretty much it. That is how loadouts work. And now let's jump into a game just to show you that everything is working as intended. Um, but yeah. That is how loadouts work inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Again, we're going to try to get it uh, loaded up in-game and try to m mess around with the loadout, loadout in-game just to show you guys how that process works. So, let's go ahead. Let's get going here. Let's select our class from the created class selection or from the division section. And then, okay, so now if I want to actually edit my class, I'm going to go to my loadouts. And then I'm going to click edit right here, just right next to the class I have selected. Edit. And then, there you go. I can actually go to my gunsmith mid-game and I can mess around with my class mid game which is so freaking awesome man that's pretty much it pretty much it if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to the channel 
for a ton more Call of Duty Modern Warfare videos like this and anything else related to Modern Warfare. And I will see you guys later. Have a good day.